Hi guys, my name is Daisy and welcome to my channel. I hope that you can hear me and um, I hope that the light is not too bright and you can still see me. <laughs> but anyways, um, today I am going to be repotting my fiddly fig because I've been a little hesitant. I've been kind of giving it time to adjust um, because I got it about a month ago. But it's looking sadder and sadder and it just needs to be repotted and I'll show you why. So I'll just go ahead and turn the camera down and um, you can see what I'm talking about. So um, I'm going to just have it angled here. Um, so here is my fiddle leaf fig and it does have some new leaves and um, they actually got a little bit droopy um, because I had it out today. Um, I'm trying to get them acclimated to the outdoors um, but I'm not sure maybe this one is just not ready for it yet so I said just let me repot it and I'm going to be transferring it to this terracotta pot so it is about um, an inch bigger around I think this is a four inch and this is a six inch so and for soil um, these plants or trees do like to have well draining soil so I'll be using um, I'm gonna be doing my own mixture actually so what I'm going to be using is a combination of potting soil and perlite and I'm going to be adding in a little bit of um, succulent mix just for the drainage and the aeration not a lot though so the soil that I got is this one GNB organic pine soil um, and the reason why I chose to repot it also is because the soil is getting like chunky when I bought it it was like really dry already um, there's like I don't know just like big chunks and every time I water it it just goes right through and it doesn't absorb anything <sighs> so we're gonna try and help it out a little bit so we've got some fresh soil over here and I'm gonna add maybe um, I don't know half a cup of fur light or a cup I don't know a handful um, this will really help with um, drainage and you know aeration and it helps especially if you tend to um, overwater your plants <laughs> like I do I tend to care a little bit more than I should for my plants and fiddle leaf figs from what I've been learning, um, do kind of like to just be left alone. Um, and so we're gonna try and just make it happy again. And also from the same brand, I'm gonna be mixing in just a little bit of this plant, uh, palm, cactus, and citrus soil. And this has sand in it. And, um, Pumice, so also helps with drainage. And I just put about a cup, and I think this is good. Okay, so for my pot here, I'll be placing this inside because it has a big drainage hole and when I water it I don't want the soil to come seeping through the hole so I'll just put that down in the center just put some soil over it and then I'm gonna fill it up to about a third of the way and then I watered it yesterday. I bottom watered it. I set it in a bowl of water and just let it soak in water from the bottom. But um, I don't know how that went. So let's see roots. You also want to check. You want to check for pests for 
um, you know, the color of the roots. This one actually looks like it has a little bit of root rot, actually. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna break down the soil. Um, and, you know, this is just kind of shaking up the roots, letting them know, hey, you have more space now. So just get them nice and fluffy. Um, okay, just in here. Just place that in the middle and then um, fill up the rest. And you just want to make sure that <laughs> my daughter woke up. Um, that none of the roots are exposed. I want to make sure you get the root ball covered. You know, babies always wake up when their moms are trying to have a little bit of me time. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 mom. Don't forget about me. Okay, so you just want to make sure and fill, fill it, not all the way to the top, but um, enough to where all of the roots are covered and it's nice and stable. So already just putting it in a pot um, that's not black, maybe, um, just looks like it has more life. And you don't want to press down on the soil, but just pat it, shake it, whatever you have to do to make sure that there's no air pockets in there. Okay, looking good. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing in this steak because um, it's a little wobbly. And when I put it outside, I was like, oh no. This cannot handle any wind, so I'm going to place a little bit of support on this little guy. Just stick it right there, close to the, close to the stem. And I'll be tying that with this um, twine that I got at the Dollar Tree, I believe. But, or the Garden Center, I don't know. I've just really been enjoying spending time with my plants and um, today I actually had to tackle, um, I think they were spider mites, I'm pretty sure they were spider mites and I've never had spider mites before on any of my plants and it was in my parlor palm. Babe! Spider mite. Ugh, what the heck? I can't get this. Sorry, guys. I'm not gonna edit this, so I'm just gonna cut it somewhere. Okay. Just a little bit, and then um, just make a nice little bow. You don't want to tighten it too much to the point where the plant loses its circulation because that's happened before. Um, but you know, just enough to where it's nice and supported. So I'm just going to cut off the excess here. And there you go. Now it's nice and supported. And the next thing would be to give it a nice bath. Um, you know wash the leaves i clean the leaves on this guy that's why they're nice and shiny but i will be cleaning it with neem oil that's what i did earlier for the spider mites um i made this mixture with neem oil and castile soap which i use dr bronner's the peppermint one and um warm water make sure it's warm so that it um neem oil mixes well 
and so i'll be you know spraying this down just to make sure and avoid pests i do not want any pests in my house <laughs> um ugh, I just the idea drives me nuts and so i did kill most of the but actually this is my parlor palm i thought it was doing bad and i was like what is going on um so i cut off some of the fronds and um it's looking nice and happy actually so those are two things that i did today and um, i'm not sure if i showed you guys in any of the other videos before but these are my succulent propagations and they are all doing pretty good this is my ghost plant and um, each new each leaf has a new plant so my green thumb is good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. How do you, what do you say? <laughs> Have a green thumb? Maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying these. I hope. Maybe not. But, um, it's my new hobby, so this is what I'm doing now. <laughs> I'm being a mommy and wife. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I hope you guys like this video and if you do, please make sure and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Make sure and subscribe and let me know if the audio is better. I hope it is because I bought this mic, so hopefully that helps. Alright guys, thank you all again for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!